So this is one of the most common questions I get asked. If you know anything about diving, you know that if you ascend too quickly, the nitrogen in your body can form bubbles. And those bubbles can uh, travel through your body and end up in your joints or in your heart, your lungs, your brain, and basically just wreak havoc. And we call this decompression sickness or the bends because it often starts with joint pain. Now, this is much more common in scuba diving than in free diving. And that is because in scuba diving, you're underwater for a very long time. And that entire time you're under pressure and you're breathing compressed air. And that compressed air is 79% nitrogen. So you're underwater for a long time and you're breathing nitrogen that entire time. And so when you go to surface, you have to make sure you ascend really gradually so that all that nitrogen you've been breathing while you've been under pressure has a chance to be reabsorbed into your body. Now in free diving, I'm just taking a breath and diving down and then diving back up. So, so for me, my lungs are about four to five liters. So that's all the air I have with me. That four to five liters, it doesn't have that much. I mean, it's still 79% nitrogen, but it's not enough uh, to cause any problems for one dive. So th this is a dive to 62 meters. If I wanted to, I could sprint back to the surface. It wouldn't cause me any problems. There'd be no risk of DCS with that four or five liters of air. Um, unfortunately, I'm not quite strong enough. I get way too much lactic acid. Um, so that's why I'm going so slowly. So, uh, but if I wanted to, I could sprint back to the surface. DCS does happen in freediving though. It's just very rare. So if I did 10 of these dives in a day with short surface interval, yes, I'd be at risk of DCS. So we do, we do still have to be careful to not do too many deep dives and to take a proper surface interval.